So I heard that someone is planning on starting a YouTube channel. Is that you? If that is you, you've clicked on the right video. I'll be more than happy to assist with all the do's and don'ts, tips and tricks, okay? So stay in tune. You taking pictures, know your angles. Ooh, no, it ain't perfect, but we them close. Ooh, you give me something I can pay for. No angel, but you got a halo. Hey, KJ's world, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Janelle. Kayla is not here. So today I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube channel if you're a small YouTuber, of course, because we are some small YouTubers here, all right? So I'll be sharing some tips and tricks, some do's and don'ts. So stay tuned if you want to know all that jazz. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. So with no further ado, let's get into the video. So going through all the other YouTube videos, they're going to tell you these stuff. They're going to be like, be consistent. Of course, it is important that you are consistent on YouTube because YouTube, the people them up there, so the more I know, see you can't say so you, Mr. Sayacha, I'm gonna put you up there, so them Mr. Sayacha, I'm gonna put you up there, so I'm bringing you further. They will push out your videos. You get what I'm saying? So it's always good to be consistent. That's very important. They'll also tell you copyrighted music. We must know by now we're not supposed to use or we're not make. If you're not going to the studio, go sing it, do not use it. I could have your friend one, do not use it without the person's permission. What will happen is you will not get any money from that video. They will get the money from that video, okay? So again, this video is not going to tell you about those stuff. We just kind of run them down. So I'm going to give you the real one then when we come here for tell you. No. Get what I say? So come again. All right, so the first tip that I have for you guys is to be authentic. You need to be real. You need to be true to yourself. You understand? Be who you are. Don't come on camera trying to be someone else. You understand? We will love you for you. If you're a goofy person, show that goofy side. If you're into pranks, show that side. Challenges, public interviews, anything that you're comfortable doing, I do recommend that you stick to that content. Of course, you can explore, because sometimes we do get bored. Like, you understand? We do get bored. Like, you know, I'm not here to bring to the table. But what I'm saying is anything that you're doing, ensure that you're comfortable enough so that your viewers will be comfortable enough to watch your content and know that you're not faking it. The journal that you see right here is the journal that my friends get, that my family members get, you understand? The goofy Janelle, the Chatnoff Janelle, mm -hmm. the dramatic Janelle, yeah. This is just me, this is my personality. So I'm bringing my personality to, to uh, I'm bringing my personality to you guys. And so far you guys like it. I don't need to be someone else. Just be authentic, be real, be comfortable in your skin. And of course, you will make it on YouTube. So yeah, the first one is be authentic. The other thing is I need you to be confident. I need you to be confident. I want you guys to be looking in the camera lens. You get what I'm saying? Don't look down, don't be looking up, don't have the phone up so in your face. You understand what I'm saying? Be confident. Be, be confident. I just want you guys to be confident. Just be yourself, just be confident, just say, listen to me now. I want you to talk to the phone or the camera like you're talking to your friends. Like, what my John? Yes, John. No, John. You get what I'm saying? Nobody shy away. Look at the ground. Looking at the sky. Look in your lens. This is your channel. You own this channel. So show them who owns this channel. Be, be confident. The tip that I have is to post evergreen videos. All right? Evergreen videos. You're wondering what they are, right? So these are videos like how to spread a bed, how to grow a plant, how to cook chicken, how to curry something, something. You know, videos that evergreen people always want to know people will always want to find out can never get old basically you can't get old it can't get old your granny are gonna research it your great grandkids are gonna research it because they want to know how to curry a chicken you understand Every videos like how to start a youtube channel five things i wish i knew before youtube these contents will always be around people will always be typing in these stuffs trying to find out these stuffs you understand so post evergreen videos so no matter what you're sure i'd have viewed upon the video they understand so yeah that's my other um tip so you guys um 
you don't remember say so you must like the video I don't know why you don't like the video yet so of course haunties I want you guys to like this video and leave a comment any comments you want to leave whether you want to comment grape, apple, plum, anything just com comment your favorite fruits I would appreciate it. comment your favorite fruits you get what I'm saying alright then we'll watch the video is ensure that all the videos that you post either informative, educational, highly requested, trending, and there's another one that's relatable. You have to ensure that the contents that you're bringing to YouTube, people have a reason to stay on the video. Like, all right, they may have learned something. All right, this is, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, I've been through that, you understand? So you need to ensure that every single time you make a video, you ask yourself, is this informative? Is this relatable? Is this highly requested? Is this trending even though sometimes i'm going to be honest the trending videos after a while people stop searching for them for example the cinnamon um challenge when you put the cinnamon in your mouth people stop searching for cinnamon challenge like two years now like two years ago that was a thing two years ago you understand so of course at the time if it's trending i would recommend that you do that video because it's trending so people is going to type that into the search bar but after a while the trending videos people won't really watch them again because as i said the cinnamon challenge nobody now do that again you get what i'm saying so yeah just ask yourself is this video or this content informative educational relatable highly requested or is it trending and you'll be good so sub for sub that's the big elephant in the room so i do get dms on a daily basis asking me to subscribe to their channel and they subscribe to mine or i should say our channel because it's actually me and kayla's channel so our channel okay so that is a no-no first of all sub for sub does not work it do not work it never work it never ever work you get what i'm saying you need to ensure that persons that subscribe to your channel is actually watching your videos so for example i subscribe to your channel and you post stuffs about car i don't even care about vehicles i don't even know cars like to be honest so why would i sit down and watch your videos i wouldn't have a reason to sit down and watch your videos let's do it the other way on this channel we post like challenges story time a little this a little that what if it's a case where guys don't find the vlogs fun they don't find the makeup stuff fun they don't find the challenges fun they're not going to sit and watch those videos so we're going to have let's say a lot of subscribers but the views not matching up and to be honest i do prefer getting views than subscribers of course we're going to need subscribers but i do prefer views if you get what i'm saying it makes no sense someone subscribes to your channel and you're not watching your video that does not work that makes no sense that it really makes no sense so if you know that you're not going to watch our videos or whatever someone's video do not subscribe to their channel it makes no sense at all you get what i'm saying it now makes no sense because you're going to click like let's say some seconds on the video like oh shit oh sorry mm, sorry youtube you understand you're going to say oh crap i'm not going to watch any more of this video it does not entice me this is not my thing so again sub for sub does not work in you know work it don't work don't think about it it not gonna work it not gonna ever work sub for sub just not gonna work you get what i'm saying all right and speaking about sub for sub youtube actually has a new policy again so i don't even know that thing but yeah the block sub for sub thingy thingy so if you actually post a comment like subscribe to my channel so for so blah 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 they will actually put that comment in the spam section so you will we will not even be able to see that comment so it makes no sense you you even comment because youtube now will show away because sub for sub is not a thing it's not on youtube's policy and it is not accepted over this side okay so sub for sub is a no-no of course you will get subscribers but if they're not watching your video it makes no sense you need persons that will actually watch your video like your video or dislike your video so for some it's definitely a no-no so keep that in mind the next tip that i have is to engage with your audience all right so for example you're wearing a dress in a video and one of your subscribers comment like um janelle for example um i like your dress or janelle i like your lip gloss or you know great video Wow, two point blah 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 is funny. Wow, look what Kayla did. It is really nice to actually answer these comments. I know sometimes we don't have time, but actually make the time. Remember like YouTube is like your other nine to five. 
so make time to actually answer to each comment I tried to do that Kayla tried to do that and what will happen is YouTube will actually pick up that people is commenting so someone comments on every day that's one comment right and you answer that one comment that's two comments so YouTube will be like um, um all right people are coming from the video so this video look like say it you know what it's a one with it so I put it like a further it's right there more people comment your answer wow people still commenting on this video let me put it like a further you get what I'm saying it's always nice to engage with your audience also it is am I talking too fast let me know if I'm talking too fast it is recommended that sometimes you ask questions in your videos or ask your subscribers to comment something so so for example sometimes I will ask you guys what do you guys think about this or let me know some video ideas you know because I want you guys to comment because I want to talk to you guys I want to get to know you guys you get what I'm saying sometimes I will say team J or team K let us know because I want you guys to comment I like when you guys comment I like answering to you guys comments so you understand it is really nice to engage with your audience YouTube is different than Instagram I have my followers on Instagram but I also have my subscribers on YouTube and I like to know you guys I like mm, I like to talk to you guys all right so that's a tip engage with your audience that's a very 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 important one but the next one is actually keeping your titles pretty short and spicy yes I said it short and spicy thumbnails short and spicy pretty best quality we don't have the best quality but you get what I'm saying you understand let it I would say the thumbnail is the cover of your book all right so if you're going to a library and you see two books you see one how oh, that's the only thing on the cover right and you see one with flowers and trees and nice fonts and colorful and all that you're going to pick the one that's prettier let's be honest you understand so i would say thumbnails are your cover so take time to build your thumbnails i might do a different video on the apps that i use for mine as again i'm not a professional i'm a small youtuber so i edit on my phone if you want like the professional stuff you have to check like shelby i am shelby yeah you can't go up here i to ask her because i really don't know to be honest so yeah as it relates to the topic or the titles, keep it short and spicy. A day at the beach. Nobody now really um type in that's a day at the beach. You get what I'm saying? Be specific. Which beach? You get what I'm saying? A day at Niagara Falls. Whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Not a day at the falls. Nobody now type in that. People want what the falls where you go. You get what I'm saying? So keep it short and spicy. I do recommend emojis because emojis just emojis just put a little pop in everything for me but that's just me they don't have to be me Just be yourself again as I said before be authentic and keep it short and spicy less is more on YouTube I think less is more so know that you've got your phone you've got your ring light I do recommend that you get a backdrop you get what I'm saying it's always nice to have a nice little clean background the dirty wall now nah go work you get the dirty clothes them on the chair now nah go work you get what I'm saying the dirty sheet now nah go work you understand ensure that your background is clean and people want to see you get what I'm saying me not go distracted by the cockroach I walk, I walk on the wall and the rattle run on the dresser you get what I'm saying just ensure that it gives them a vibe the lighting is right and everything is just right and trust me starting off you don't need a camera you don't need you know the difference between need and want right you don't need a camera when you're just starting off you're just getting to know what you're about what type of content you will bring you will be bringing to the table so just take time to know yourself of course when you start make some money as subscribers come in and the views come in you're going to need a camera but starting off you don't need a camera so just use what you have and go and save a little money you know save a little dear save a little dear that's all you need the next tip that I have is to look the part okay I know sometimes we come on YouTube we don't have makeup on we don't look so up you get what I'm saying but most times we do try to put on like a little makeup or a little nice you know like a top even if we don't have on a nice bottom we try to have on a little nice top so you guys can see that we're actually trying to look presentable you get what I'm saying so look the part 
do you hear? Put on a little makeup. If you don't wear makeup, put on your little skin stuff. What I do, I don't even know moisturizer or whatever. You put it on your little coconut oil, your little serum, your little uh, your little that, and come. You understand? Dress your part. As I said before, YouTube is like a nine to five. So dress like where you go wear. Maybe not the jacket and suit, but dress nice. So if somebody, a foreign seer, them can say, oh, you get what I'm saying? Don't come here with a tear up shirt. Don't come here with a wash out something, 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 something. Then, mm, you know what I'm saying? So dress the part. Try to look, you know? Set a little, uh, so them know, so when I see this video, this girl post video, she come in with a little, uh, and a little, that, and a little, uh, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, dress the part. So the problems that most small YouTubers face is actually reaching the threshold to be monetized or be a part of the YouTube, um, partnership program. So to be a part of the YouTube partnership program, you need 1,000 subscribers, as I said in our last video, and you need 4,000 watch time. So... I'm going to help you to build your watch time. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to create some playlists and let your mommy watch it, your granny watch it, your cousin watch it, your ex watch it, your boyfriend watch it. If them are wash, them leave the TV running. If them are do the do the do the do, them leave the TV running. If them are run go downtown, I don't care about the light bill, you can leave the TV running. Leave your phone running. You get what I'm saying? You're using a laptop, put it at the back while you're doing your work. Put it at the back while you're doing your work. So keep these playlists playing over and over again. Ask people to watch these playlists. It actually helps with your watch time. Also, going live on YouTube builds your watch time. I don't know if, to be honest, I'm not sure if you have to reach the threshold to go live. I don't think so though. But it's good to go live on YouTube. It actually builds your watch time too. So yeah, so build a playlist so persons can watch and help with getting that watch time up and running so you can start making some money because the reason you're spending so much time building these contents coming here weekly is to actually start making some money or if you just want to do it for fun but why do it for fun when you can make some money you get what i'm saying so we've reached the end of our video i hope you guys learned some stuff again i'm some, i'm a small youtuber i'm a very small youtuber so i'm just giving you some tips that i got from some bigger youtuber you get what i'm saying so remember to like share comment subscribe and hit that post notification you get what i'm saying so goodbye guys i will see you guys on i'm going to say saturday i'm going to give you guys